I don't know what to tell you guys, but I've missed you. <laughs> I really have. You get into a habit of doing something, and I've done it for the last two and a half years, every day, well, almost every day, except when I'm super swamped, pick up my camera and I chat with you, and now I haven't for just a few days, and it feels weird. Strange. Peculiar. I've got my gloves on because it is freezing. Well, it's much colder. It's 45, low 45, it's 50 degrees outside, it's clammy, it's raining. I definitely need to uh, make something warm to drink. And I've been working on a project for work for the last week. Everything worked fabulously this morning. And then I got a message saying, we have to reverse it. So all your work has been in vain. Uh, you know, it happens. First thing I think of is uh, job security. So yeah. So that's that. I'm drinking my water, plenty of fluids. Because it's crappy out, my weirdly arthritic pain in my foot is back. Which is, you know, gotta be like, yay, how exciting. I know, not very. So my goal for today, since it's, oh my gosh, it's almost 3.30 already. It's been already a long day. <laughs> my goal for today is to make a yummy dinner. I have little lamb steaks, lamb chop steaks, uh, thawing out in a uh, sink. And Paulie requested the, his now favorite red wine potatoes with mushrooms and onions. And I think I'm going to make a tiramisu for dessert. So I have mascarpone, I have ladyfingers, I just have to find some strong coffee. So I might just brew a double batch of coffee and keep that cool. So I'm going to make that in advance. I, that will be a separate video because... The one thing I've noticed why things aren't, doesn't, there's not as much activity on my account, on my YouTube channel, because it's hard to share a vlog. You know, there may not be a lot of exciting things going on, and, and thank you so much for everyone, sorry I'm scratching my shoulder, thank you for everyone who has reached out and said you would miss the vlogs. We're still going to vlog occasionally. I didn't mean to, like, abruptly just leave. I don't know what snapped in me that day. I think I was just probably frustrated with work, <laughs> to be honest. And that happens. And I've made a point never to vlog when I'm not, when I'm in a bad mood. And I am in a good mood, even though it's kind of, you know, unpleasant outside right now. So I have missed it, uh, but I have put up a couple of videos. And I'm hoping that maybe if I... The content that I provide is informational, like um, I made a spectacular soup the other day and I didn't vlog it because I don't know why. Oh, I made it during lunch yesterday and we had that yesterday to eat and it was just so delicious. I have to share. It's one of my garbage soups because it's Thursday nights are garbage and, re you know, and recycling every other week. So I look through, see what food in the fridge has to be used up or tossed. I try not to throw food out because I get, feel, excuse me, very guilty about throwing food out when I know that my grandmother during World War II sold out family jewels for some rotten potatoes. I have a very hard time throwing food out because of that. I still have that stuck with me. I remember the stories she told me and I, you know, all of that. I just... There's no need, and if you're throwing food out, either the food wasn't prepared well, or you're overcooking, or you're not putting it in the freezer when you could save it, I just, it, it's guilt, the guilt eats away at me. So, I had, well, I can tell you what it was. I might actually do a blog post because I, because I just did take some photographs. It was, um, uh, a, well, it's not vegetable soup, but it has, animal products in it, so, but you could easily make it vegetarian. I had some steamed mushrooms left over from, I don't even know, do I have photos? Maybe I do, um, on my phone. I had some steamed vegetables, uh, steamed mushrooms left over from Chinese food, um, on Monday? Monday? I don't remember now. Monday, I think. And there were Polly's. Polly had ordered them, and he didn't eat them all, and I thought, well, I could just toss this or I could use it up. And I ended up using them. So I had two boxes of stock that had, a, you know, one had more in it than another. One was the Swanson, uh, the Cajun flavor. The one that Roxy said might be a little too spicy for her. And it's totally not too spicy. So I, um, here's this, what the soup looked like. Um, so it was a base of one chorizo sausage, which I had picked up at Restaurant Depot 
last month, I think. Um, and I was in, in a plastic casing, so I just pulled it out. I didn't even saute it. I put it in the stock. Then I added uh, half, uh, 14 ounces, so about seven, seven to eight ounces of frozen chopped collard greens. Then the mushrooms, as you can see right there, mushrooms. I also had uh, green bell pepper that was cut open, so I chopped that up. Uh, a bunch of garlic cloves and whole cloves, just threw them in there. Um, a little bit of the beef stock that was still open. And then I also added one cup of quinoa. And everything simmered for a good 35-40 minutes. The house smelled delicious and it was so satisfying. I had some for lunch today. And I still have another big portion left in the refrigerator. If Polly chooses not to have that um, tonight, then I could pop it in the freezer and I can have an emergency lunch for myself. So easy peasy. And things didn't go to waste. I got rid of a bunch of things. And I will have a blog post with a full recipe. Well, because I kind of cook off the top of my head, I'll at least have some measurements and things because it was just the right combination of things. When I warmed it up today, because I didn't add any salt, any pepper, or anything spicy to it, I did add about a heaping teaspoon maybe a teaspoon and a half of sambal because I wanted that extra spice. When something when it when I'm cold and I want to warm up, I like being warmed up from the inside with spicy food. Anyhow, so now you know what's been going on and you're caught up and I would show you Chester's tushy. He's had an allergic reaction. Uh, Polly had accidentally picked up dog food. Um that has grains in it. Chester has been on a grain-free diet for years because of his grain allergies, but I think he picked up the wrong bag and emptied it already into the canister and threw the bag out, so I couldn't confirm it, but suddenly Chester started to itch when we switched foods. Well, he itched to a point where he his butt looks like a, ba a baboon now. It's just, it's awful. He goes outside and I'm like, I really need to cover you up so you don't get arrested for indecent exposure, so. But, you know, he's back on the grain-free food, and he's got his Benadryl in the system. It's like, one if it's not one thing, it's your mother. <laughs> or my mother. That's what Polly says. If it's not one thing, it's your mother. Anyway, so we have um, plans for tomorrow, which I will bring you along. We're going grocery shopping first thing in the morning to get it over with and out of the way. And I want to share with you guys how I grocery shop, including the list that I make and all of that. Because I think maybe it'll help... Um, kind of see what my process is. I'm gonna plan the menu for next week today so I know what I need to pick up based on what I already have and versus what we don't have in the house. And we have some staples that we've run out of, like there's not even a single stick of butter left in the refrigerator, which is very unusual. So I wanna get that done. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. And I need to run out to Kohl's, but I think not till tomorrow to pick up the gift card for my co-worker whose house um, had the fire damage. <sighs> oh my gosh, I have been talking for almost nine minutes. You've missed me, right? I know, how can you miss someone who's been gone a couple of days? I don't even know his last vlog. Well, I'll find out when I go to edit. So I'm gonna go, I'll go make myself some, probably a big cup of tea because I'll that will warm me up. Maybe, maybe some tea biscuits. I think I have some left or not. And then I have to prep for the video that I'm going to do for the uh, tiramisu. I have to find a nice glass container with a airtight lid because I want to stash it in the fridge because there's no way I'm going to make just portion for the for the two of us. It's obviously going to be something that's going to last us all you know, for the next several days. But I want to make sure it's stored properly in the refrigerator. Oh, okay. My comp I've been talking so long my computer went to sleep. Like, I'm bored with you. I'm going to take a nap. Good morning. See that? It's raining. Four days of this. We'll see how long the basement holds out. If I see a squirrel surfing down the street on a piece of cardboard, that's too much water. So I have lots of meetings today, so I don't know how much vlogging I'll be able to do. But I do need to make some cards because my coworker who um, had a house fire we're trying to send her at least some gift cards so they can get some emergency clothing and household items that they need to have replaced because of the water damage and fire damage. So 
that's what's on my to do for today. And I made dinner. Yep. If you want to see my red wine potatoes, there'll be a card up there. I made a separate video, but little lamb chops, brandy wine potato uh, tomatoes, and that's dinner. So yeah. Hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow because we're going shopping. Grocery shopping, that is. My least favorite thing to do, but it has to be done. So I'm making a list and checking it twice. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching everyone.